My name is Casey Frazier. We're going to play some new songs for you right now. Thank you for being here with us today at the National Music Sanctuary. Thank you, uh, Danger Bag Productions. This is Michael Martinez over here on the keys, Mr. Roy Glass on the bass, and again, I'm Casey Frazier. Listen, I know that you don't want to win. I know that in your head turns. Cause you're making yourself somebody there. I know that. And it's magic. And it's shameless. And there's a fire. Thanks, everybody, for coming on out for another incredible episode of the National Music Sanctuary. We turned 20, our 20th episode, with a, a local fave of ours, Casey Frazier. And uh, we want to thank you, Casey, for coming out and thank you, playing some songs for us. So uh, tell people who you are. You know, where, where do we see Casey Frazier live? Well, uh, my name is Casey Frazier. Um, I am now a resident of uh, Carmel, California, uh, which is how I know you. And um, I've been uh, out there for a little while, and I've got my albums out on all the internet distribution you can find me. And so Bandcamp, uh, yeah, Bandcamp, uh, Spotify, Spotify, iTunes, all that stuff. You know. Oh, cool. Reverb Nation. I'm trying to think. There's there's more. I get right. drawn a blank. But. Um, yeah, I'm. Uh, this year we're ramping up to do a big release um, of my new album that we've been working on called American Exotic, and um, I can't say too much, but we are we are we are making a big push um, in that effort. So we'll be doing a lot of national radio uh, spots this year. Um, you know, probably a few local festivals uh, around. Uh, Local meaning in your town, near Northern you. California area, uh, Santa probably, Cruz. You know the Western region, I would say. Cool. You know, probably we'll probably get over to Colorado and maybe down to Texas.
Got it figured all out. Got to figure out how much we can make. Down on your luck, and down along a new waste of time. The heart's overrun. Start to feel the breaking inside. God once told me you never hold it all in your hands. But once it begins, I'm holding on whatever I can. I'll be happy if I die I remember thinking I'd be married I swore by 25 Sometimes you hold and sometimes you carry Sometimes you cold at night It's all a part of your Got it figured all out. Got to figure out how much we can make. And all along the way together, I will take you by my side. I'm happy with the life I'm living. I'll be happy if I die. I remember thinking I'd be married I swore by 25 Sometimes you hold, sometimes you carry Sometimes you're just alright And it's crazy It's all a part of It's all a part of your lifetime It's all a part of your lifetime 
Do you um, work with one particular management company or do you do a lot of this stuff in-house on your own? Uh, I have been doing a lot of it on my own, but uh, this year I have a manager. So cool. it's been it's been very, very nice, a nice team. We're excited. Someone that you've known locally or? I met I met him locally. Yeah? Yeah. So. One of the Monterey Peninsula people or Paradigm? Yeah. No, not Paradigm, but it's a it's a, an older fellow uh, around here who's just worked with just about everybody in the cool. industry. And, and uh, we're really excited because um, for, for me it's the first time I have, I feel like I'm working with somebody who's 100% behind me for whatever I'm doing. You know, like, you know, he just says whatever. You know, I'm I'm on board. You go sure. do it. Sure, and, and, and I'll that's help important out. to have that because you're is. trying to figure out what this thing is in a lot of ways, and you don't want someone necessarily on top of you trying to pull your little right, telling me it's this or that. Right, when right. It, when it, in reality, uh, the music industry is not much of an industry nowadays. You know. I think it is. I just think that it's changing and shifting, and they can't. They're having a hard time figuring out how to. How to monetize it, right? right? Everything's really moving towards people just creating and then showing it, and then everybody's going, "Well, how do I get paid?" And that's why, you know, locally here we have a couple really big uh, music talent uh, managers, Paradigm and Monterey Peninsula artists, and and I've talked to these guys, you know, and 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 what they've told me is is that all the money's in live music right now. If you're an artist, you basically have to go out and put your hat out because you darn kids out there stealing all that music stop stealing the music unless you want to rip the national music sanctuary you can do that that's cool i'm down with it <laughs> give it to six friends no but then pay for it later when you're rich My name is Casey Frazier. Welcome to the National Music Sanctuary. Thank you, Danger Bag Productions, for having us here. Got Mr. Roy Glass here on my left, laying down some bass. Mr. Michael Martinez on the keys. This song's called Caught in the Middle. I'm a drink and strike a conversation 
position But when the lights go out It's heavy living say the uh the record industry is 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 turned upside down right now but the entertainment industry is the most i mean it's it is the top industry right now you know right. and it's just really interesting how those two can be they need each other but one is doing so much better than another one you know and it's just uh so it's yeah. trying to fig figure out how to fit into all that think to yourself you know now that you've you know found someone here local that is going to help shepherd you through producing this album um do you do you feel more at home saying i don't necessarily have to go to austin texas or nashville or i'm not sure what city calls you um yeah well you know i'm 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 a little bit of a different story because i lived in nashville and worked for some major publishing companies writing for you know, Tim McGraw and, and some other... Um, oh, I didn't know that about your story. Really? Yeah. You wrote for Tim McGraw. Yeah, and cool. I, I never got anything cut on an album, but I spent, you know, two years, uh, you know, schlepping it out in, in a, a publishing house and learning how to write with those guys and doing that. And, and, I, and at 10 years total down there, and now my folks actually live down there, 
even though I grew up in Colorado. Right. And um, so, you know, I have a different perspective of that. You know, I kind of feel like I've, I've been there and I've done that. And, and uh, for me, I, I would rather, I don't know, it's, it's more important to have like the experiences and to, and to kind of be in a place that I feel happy day to day than it is to, to have, you know, a, a 30% better chance at, at gaining fame or notoriety just being in one of those cities, which, you know, it's just, what is the percentage now? You know, I mean, I think 20 years ago, 15 years ago, you could go down there and, you know, if you were good and you slept it out in L.A., you know, Hollywood, uh, Hollywood Nashville, um, Austin, uh, or New York, I mean, you're, you would make some sort of uh, dent, you know what I mean? You would, you would. Yeah, somebody would pick you up yeah. from Chess Be Records or from A&R or from... CBS or somebody would say, hey, see you in a club, say, hey, I want to give you some money. You can go into a studio and I'm going to throw you some money and get you into these clubs because I know these promoters. And that shit's dead. Right. I mean, because no band gets, and we talk about this on the National Music Yard all the time, so I'm not going to talk about it again, but you know, that you're right. And when you said that, I, I, I really, it struck a chord with me because there are a lot of times where I think about, well, what happens if I took the National Music Sanctuary to South by Southwest, right? right? Or something like that and what does it matter the artists come here we get to create what we want we get to live in as far as I'm concerned some of the most beautiful country in, in America at least and and that enriches you you know as an artist so I'm great I'm glad you're staying close <laughs> Central Coast Roots 831 <laughs> uh,
said, this is my suitcase Well, don't be going through my shit She had a spit of coldness that would burn right through her lips I hope to hear y'all they got Strong whiskey in hell now Cause that's where I'm going Oh, that's where I'm going Best place is just to go to CaseyFraser.com, maybe? CaseyFraser.com, or CaseyFraserMusic.com, or CaseyFraser.net, but that, it's all the same and thing. And it's C-A-S-E-Y-F-R-A-Z-I-E-R. -E -E you got it. Right. Yeah, from so A to Z. It. Yeah, and check them out live, you know, if you're in the uh, Northern California area, Monterey, Santa Cruz. I know you played with Mike Beck a couple times, right? Yeah, we've done a, a couple little shows uh, here and, and there. did you do Americana Festival? Or? We did, we yeah. did that. Uh, um, yeah, my band and I, we did that with Dwight Yoakam, and that was really cool. With Dar Darren Thomas on drums. For yeah, that set. Correct, yeah, yeah. I used to work with Darren, so he's, he's a great, great guy. Yeah, he's really. a monster of a drummer, this guy. Absolutely, Ooh. absolutely. He's a phenom on that thing. Um, well, I think we're going to just say goodbye. All right. Know? And we'll go into the fan, little little thing we like to do. Sign the danger bags. We're going to bring the, the band back up. We're going to find a Sharpie. And then we're just gonna do like we did Josh for Billy, where we got you guys and you don't listen. I know that you done wandering. I know that in your head turns. Cause you're making yourself somebody there. I know that and it's magic.